Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward commended the Cadet Corps for its significant support, especially during the time of disasters, and says the organization has the answers to some of the major social ills faced with young citizens. The St. Lucia Cadet Corps is a paramilitary organization which operates through secondary schools within the island's education system, instilling survival, discipline, healthy living, and leadership qualities in its members. Minister Edwards says while the home plays a very important role in the development of a child, the classroom, and certainly young people's involvement in extracurricular activities, such as those provided by youth organizations like the Cadet Corps, play an equally important role in overall development of young people that helps keep them on the straight and narrow. This single week, my office is inundated with cases and acts of indiscipline on the part of students and young people. And I can say categorically in the absence of empirical evidence that a dearth in the, the activities of specialized groups in our country has in part contributed to the breakdown of discipline in young people in this country. Final speeches. The minister disclosed that ministry officials will soon meet with the high command of the St. Lucia Cadet Corps to chart the way forward for the continued development and strengthening of the organization's the role to effectively function and provide the positive impact it has been providing over the years within the school structure of the education sector. Your work is undervalued. I make no apologies for that. But the significance of what you do is immense. And it is against that backdrop the government that I'm a part of will stand shoulder to shoulder with the credit corps to ensure that we give you the requisite support so that your work can be even more impactful than it has been. The 2024 Cadet Corps Commandants Parade presented a cadre of 160 out of its almost 700 island-wide membership due mainly to the inclement weather. It shifted its proceedings from its usual location of the Mindo Phillip Park. Commandant of the St. Lucia Cadet Corps Lieutenant Colonel Nathan Hyacinth thanked his rank and file and echoed sentiments expressed by Education Minister Sean Edward, saying the Corps remains a symbol of hope in the development of young people in becoming productive citizens. They are the ones who really stand tall. They are the ones who really show that, listen, we can be part of the solution okay, to the ills that we have in our communities. I must also express my thanks, gratitude to the government of St. Lucia, who over the past few years, I must admit, has been showing a whole lot more interest and been given some resources in order for us to participate in our activities. Several awards and promotions were dished out at the activity. The Corps will celebrate its 95th anniversary in July of this year with a gala event and has called on the support of the wider St. Lucian community in helping raise funds for the organization. The cadets paraded before Acting Governor General His Excellency Errol Charles, government officials and well-wishers. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporter.